Hello and welcome to TRT Talks, episode number 36. My name is Brandon. I am joined by the one, the only... Uh, Corey. Yeah, that's simple. Except for we have two. What? We have two. He's just, the other one's not here. Oh. He's not feeling good. So we have two. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Eh, he wasn't feeling good. Fuck him. (laughs) Fuck all you else. (laughs) If you're not feeling good and you can't come to my show, fuck you. Fuck you. You know, my computer's being a cunt. Yeah? Updating. Oh, that one over yeah, there. Yeah, it keeps restarting like 15 times. And You pick that up. You wonder what that is? Yeah, uh, it's a Cat5 to USB? Yeah. No, it's just Ethernet. Oh, you can use Ethernet. Cat6 if you want. Okay. Anything, really. What, what do you use it for? Transferring uh, like uh, camera tether. Oh, okay. So Makes when sense. we're like at a dancer side and we're taking massive amounts of photos, you're yeah. obviously not going to buy yourself a 50-foot Ethernet or fucking USB cable. <laughs> that would be fucking <clears throat> ridiculous. So you just buy yourself a 50-foot Ethernet cable, attach the two, and go. I've got a 100-foot. Do you? Yep. Your point? It was cheaper than a 50. I have so. a 1,000-foot coming. Fuck. Yeah. I got hired on to do a residential network drop Let's just um, tie in it, Omaha. Let's tie it to the back of my vehicle, and you stand there and hold it, and I'll just drive off. Why? That way. Do you know how much a thousand foot of Cat Six cable is? How? One hundred and fifty dollars. Jesus. Jesus. Why are you saying Jesus? That's expensive. Well, I guess it's not expensive, but I'm not paying for it. <laughs> Why do I <laughs> care? Yeah. I am using like two hundred foot of that to run a cable from downstairs up to my room. Nice. And yeah. what? Ha, fuckers. Yeah, well, I'm not going to use it all at the location I'm going to, and I charge them for the whole roll, and I keep it, so. Nice. It's what you get. It's what you get. So, well, I usually save the roll for when the business calls me back and they want more drops. I'm like, all right, be right over, and then I have their Ethernet cable to drop, but I'm still on 200 foot. Nice. Report me. Oh, phony business shit. <laughs> I don't really care. How's it going, Corey? It's going good. How, how's it going for you, Rado? Good. You enjoy you, your Christmas? Yeah. I, I did, actually, yeah. Are you bleeding? No. Oh, it looks like you have. Oh, that's uh, my marker from work. Uh, I got a mark. I, I'm, I do thermostats now instead of silicone anymore. Yeah. So we have this red dye pen that we got to mark a certain measurement Same. onto the probe stem. It looked like you were bleeding. I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to get AIDS or something. Yeah, you probably will. Yeah, if you keep talking to the mic like that, you're oh, going to get AIDS. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, AIDS yeah. speed up this sweet, sweet release um, of death. So, what did you get for Christmas? Uh, I got a lamp, which I know that sounds kind of like, Egh, but I, I actually needed a fucking lamp. I got a lot of corners in my room that the light doesn't get to, so having a lamp helps. Um, Do you ever get put in the corner in your room? Yeah, no, that's where my desk is. Oh. <laughs> But I got that, and then I bought myself a mini fridge. My mom went out and bought me a coat, some gloves, and some food. So, oh, I can't complain. Uh, I got a TV wall mount, I see Cards that. Against Humanity, and a fifty dollars Amazon gift card. Whoa, whoa, nice. Yeah, you're gonna use that fifty dollars to buy dildos? No, I'm actually uh, using it to buy. I don't know. I was thinking about getting into the adult baby fetish world. <laughs> Just buy a bunch of diapers and binkies. I had to come up with a joke there. Sorry, sorry if I offend any. Uh, I don't really give a fuck. If you have a if you have a diaper <laughs> baby fetish, <laughs> you're already offending yourself. So, can you believe some of those people go out in public like that? Yeah, no, it's it's crazy. I guess whatever floats your boat. I right? wonder how many CEOs sit in their like offices all day with just diapers underneath their suit. Probably a lot of them. Probably. It's actually a smart idea. Yeah. You don't, I mean, no time to go to the restroom. You can just shit right there in your pants. I mean, hell. I don't know if I'd use it as shit, but I'd take a piss right there. Just, just. <laughs> Somebody shit their pants. Nope, I have a diaper on. <laughs> Fuckers. I, I, I didn't shit my pants. I shit my diaper. There's Fuck a fucking you. difference. Yeah. Helen, please come in here. I need you to come change me. Bring, bring the baby powder. I'm going to need it today. I'm a little, I'm feeling a little rashy. God damn. Uh, it's that time of the year, again, where everyone's saying their New Year's resolution. What's ah, yours? Jesus. I don't have one. <laughs> I don't ever do New Year's resolutions. Do you know what your New Year's resolution should be? What? Fucking to be not a piece of shit. Uh, that's not going to happen. It'll be like 2025 by the time that happens, and the world will be over by then. So, hey. You know, if this ever does take off and we get an office, your name above your door is going to be piece of shit. 
and yours above your own office is going to be some cunt. Hey, <laughs> I'm fine with that. Because <laughs> when a worker comes in, some cunt, what did you just fucking say to me? Like, if they walk in and call you a piece of shit, what are you going to do? Hey, that's me. Uh, hi, is uh, is uh, Brando here? Brando, Brando Robertson. Oh, sorry. Here, we just don't refer to him that. Some cunt. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? You sound like uh, like someone off of like a tribal scene. Yeah. Some cunt. <laughs> if we had a tribe, that's God. exactly what. Hey yo. <laughs> hey yo. Some cunt. Some cunt. Hey yo. What are you guys doing? A rain dance. <laughs> <laughs> California needs that right now. <laughs> they need something right now. Did you know actually the California people has had people do rain dances for them? They really? pay people to do rain dances. <laughs> Corey, new business. Let's do rain dances. You guys have been doing it all, long, all, all wrong all along. You just have to cuss at the gods and then they'll be like, oh, fuck, they mean business. Shit. All right. Hey, let's send them some rain. Acid rain? Yeah, why not? It's rain. Rain from China? <laughs> from China. China's in deep water. Yeah. Yeah. For what this time? I. Uh, Giving oil to North Korea. Motherfuckers. After sanctions was imposed on them. And they Fuck. even agreed to that. Dumbasses. So I'm interested to see how our relationship with China goes. <laughs> Probably the same. <laughs> we need money. Here, Here we go. Do. Here we go. Fuck. You know, I kind of wish I was like the U.S. to where I could go to another country and be like, can I borrow 20 bill? And they're like, what for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in my pocket. Could you know. imagine like going to your friend's house and just being like, can I borrow an absurd amount of money? Like how much? Like I don't know, like a billion dollars? Like yeah, fucking sure. What for? Just let me write the check today. <laughs> well, you see, I'm kind of fucking a bunch of these people over, and they're paying me a lot of money. I just want more. You realize this put you. In I debt. wonder how that conversation goes. They sit down. Can we borrow some money? Yeah. Let me write a check. I wonder what their limit is on their bank account. Six Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin. No, wait, so sorry. Fucking stupid. Sorry. It's like, hey, how much do you want to borrow? Six Bitcoin. Six. Three hundred Bitcoin. Three hundred. Four Bitcoin. Two million Bitcoin. What are you doing? I'm just trying to keep the price around the same. <laughs> you know that probably would be a good tactic and car salesman. Yeah. One hundred. Two grand. Three hundred. Four grand. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm pointing at cars. I wonder how that goes. Like, can I borrow some money? No. Can I borrow some money? Please. Oh, fine. Sanchez nicely. But Bitcoin is stupid. It's I like the concept, but I hate I hate how it goes and comes, the price. Why would I put money in something it's that so raises volatile. and then drops? Like See what it's at today. Probably an all time fucking low. <laughs> I know it was there a few days ago. It's currently sitting at fourteen thousand. Staying about fourteen to sixteen thousand, I think, on the normal. Like you know, it'll, it'll it like, would have been good if I bought like a Bitcoin for like five bucks back then. Yeah, I mean that would. I'd been, be happy. I'd cash out. You'd be like, yeah, but okay. actually, cashing out a Bitcoin is very, very hard. It, it's very difficult. Yeah, you don't have a lot of buyers right now. Mm-hmm. It's like gold. Yep. Oh, not really. Because I like think anyone would buy gold. It's more like stocks. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. But anyways, back to New Year's resolutions. I hate how people are like, my New Year's resolutions to lose weight. Wasn't that yours last year? New Year, new me, you know. And I hate. <clears throat> I hate when people post their New Year's resolution on fucking Facebook. Yeah. I, I so badly want to go in my comments with my friends and be like, no one gives a fuck. No one gives a fuck. No one gives a fuck. I, I think the best way to do a New Year's resolution post is by joking about it. Like, my New Year's resolution is this year, I'm going to try to stub my toe 10 times less than I did last year. Like, ha <laughs> Like, make a joke out of it. My New Year's resolution is to not find a cure for AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> it's at the end of the year, and they're like, Brando, you found a cure for eggs. God damn it. <laughs> fuck. I think I may have accidentally are... said eggs. They're talking about having a cure for that next year. Nice. <laughs> Throw the AIDS around. Now, Fuck you, it. You think like in nineteen like nineties they're like, hey, what about this cure for AIDS? Just release it in two thousand eighteen. You sure two thousand eighteen? Yep. All right. Cool. Two thousand seventeen rolls around. Don't worry, guys. Next year we'll have a cure for AIDS. We know it. <laughs> Probably with cancer too. Nice. Once the prices of chemotherapy drop, 
I was gonna and say because they that just, crashes, they're gonna be like, oh look, no worries, we found a cure. They just had that fucking price for uh, cancer treatment go skyrocket. Yeah. Well, do you realize what they did, right? So before, you, they had share a bottle program to yeah. where they'd bottle big bottles of it, and then patients could share bottles of medicine. Now it's just single individual bottles. Oh. And you can no longer share it. So once you're done, and there's still like almost a full vial left, you start to pay for that full vial and throw it away. Jesus. Yeah, what's the point? There is no point in that. That's fine. What do you dumb. keep looking at? Huh? Huh? Oh, the levels. Oh. Jesus Christ. But yeah, my New Year's resolution. Anyways, so yeah. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Lose weight? To end fucking New Year's resolutions. <laughs> yeah, Corey. My New Year's resolutions to fucking end weight. To lose weight. He says he's cracking open a Milky Way. Simply caramel. Get it fucking right. Look the package, bitch. I, you threw the package. You actually... You the package it. is fucking yellow. You made it. Did I really? I think so. Did you ever have another package of them? I made it. You made it. I, I think made you it. made both of them. I'm not Probably did. Damn. I'm just that good. I bounced off two walls too. Yep, you made TRT history by making the best shot ever. Good job. How's that This TR? is it. This is the best we get. Hmm? Bye guys. TK made history. Yeah, I heard about that. Mm-hmm. I think their first land tournament. Mm-hmm. What game did they play? Call of Duty World War Two. Figures. It's the only land tournament that they really have. That TK is really in. I mean, they're branching off into H1Z1 right now. They're actually getting ready to take on a big investor. Ooh, that'd be cool. Yeah, so cool. It'd be awesome. Hopefully wow. they can expand more. Maybe wow. they can... Fuck off. <laughs> Not only that, but the Pentagon... UFO project. Did you hear about that? I did. That's uh, it's pretty cool. The I, director of the UFO that directed the UF program, UFO, yeah. said that he thinks there's UFOs out there. I would hope fucking so. Now, this is a guy that looks over, like, all the paperwork for the program. Yeah. And directs it. I mean, well, if he's saying that, come on. Well, they were talking about earlier this year that they think within the next 10 to 15 years that we'll make contact with extraterrestrial life form. Do you know what I think what's going to happen in 10 to 15 years? What? We're going to be nobodies. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so somebody did bring up a really cool idea. So when we first traveled to a new planet, we sent a rover. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking the moon. The moon's, <clears throat> you know, the moon. But going to Mars, we sent a rover. Yeah. So what's the like, like the probability that the first thing we actually see from a different, you know, species from space isn't them. It's actually their... You know, their rover or their <laughs> robots. I mean, that'd be pretty yeah. fucking sweet. Human robots. Yeah. All of a sudden, fucking just robots falling Speaking from the Speaking of that, did you see the big surge in the Earth is flat bullshit? <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Somebody, okay, so there's a guy that did this experiment, right? Okay. And he has a, he believes the Earth is flat, right? Yeah. So let's just get that out of the way. He had a lemon and a plate, right? Okay, I, I I know what video you're talking about. And he took the lemon, he poured water over it, and he said, see, the w- lemon's round. It just falls off. Then he took a plate and poured it on, and he's like, see, the plate is flat. It stays on. I wanted to comment and say, well, the plate has angled edges to it. <laughs> <coughs> Part because of it me- did. It did. It had like, it yeah. was an angle edge plate. I believe if it was... Perfectly flat. It would he still. obviously wasn't holding it level, so it would have came off. Uh, I, I, I think that video specifically. He's got kind of got like a curly fro with glasses. I'm not for sure. Oh, well, I think I think that video was a joke. I know there's a lot of people joking about it. No, no, where, the video I watched was not a joke. Okay, I th- think that was making fun of that one. Okay, that could have been because I I know a lot of people are joking like, haha, the world is flat. You know, making it uh, kind no, of. No, this one wasn't actually a joke. And someone uh, mess put a comment on the Facebook. You forget about gravity, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> gravity and inertia. <coughs> inertia is a property of matter. Actually, uh, inertia is a property of gravity. You dumbass. Uh, it used to say on Bill Nye the Science Guy, inertia inertia is a property of matter. But inertia is created by gravity in a way. Yeah. Because if you think about it, inertia is spinning, right? Yeah. Now, I, do you know what they do in space to create false gravity if they need it? Spin stuff. Spin shit. I I was I was just quoting Bill Nye. 
That's what it used to say. Oh. I wasn't like trying to be scientific. But at I all. think this whole Earth is flat thing is funny. I think it's awesome. Yeah. Especially when the people that are actual scientists get on there and be like, you're retarded. <laughs> I think it'd be great if I like seen all the one scientist guy got on there and said, this is the fucking most retarded thing I've seen ever. I think <laughs> I think just it, posted it. I think it'd be funny if like all scientists got together and like collectively like were like, oh, yes, the world is flat and started like pretending like the world is flat and like being asses about yeah. it. Yeah. Like, like, oh, we thought the world was we thought the world was round, but according to this guy on Facebook and his lemon and plate, hey, he's right. The world's probably flat. Shit. Well, it's and someone's like, have you seen the photos from the International Space Station? Just saying. And one of them even tried to claim that the International Space it, Station was fake. Is it B.O.B., I think, is a rapper? He's uh, building a rocket so he can go to space to prove that the world is flat? No, that was not a rapper. That was a guy in the South. I, I thought I thought there was a rapper doing it no, as well. No, it was a guy. It was like, uh, I, I think his name was Bob. And Bob the scientist or something. And he was like, oh, I'm making a rocket to go to Earth, space to prove that the Earth is flat. And then you realized if he did that, he would have died. <laughs> like, come on, man. You should have known that. Like, I hate when people open their mouths, say that they're going to do something, then back off. I wish he would have launched himself in that fucking rocket and killed himself. Hmm. What? I was just trying to see, because I swear, I swear there was a, I, I know that guy, there was like there a- There wasn't no rapper. I, I know, because I, B.O.B. B. Uh, is a very adamant- uh, flat earther like he is very like how could you live with that title I'm a flat earther like what the fuck <laughs> like how retarded you see that sounds oh, yeah I'm a flat car there was like a, what the fuck there was a flat earth tweet like twitter and so Elon Musk tweeted to him and he goes I see a lot of flat earthers why aren't there any flat mars like and somebody's like because that has been uh, like that has been documented to be round. We have rovers over there that prove that it's round. Elon Musk is like, you guys are doing good work. <laughs> like, good job. I fucking love Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, we have rovers over there. We have humans over here, you retard. <laughs> That's like when someone says, uh, where was I going with that? I forget. Nah, fucking, I forget. <laughs> You literally, you literally have one of those moments where you forget what you're saying, but it was mid fucking sentence. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, yeah it was, was the most actually beautiful thing ever. I I forgot where I was going with that joke. So we were talking about TK not too long ago. Uh huh. Uh, and so it brought up video games. Apparently, in 2018, they're going to make video games like an over excessive amount of playing video games a mental illness. Well, looks like I got a mental illness. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I like draw disability then? Is that <laughs> Because it's a, it's an it's an addiction. <laughs> yes, can I draw like two grand in disability a week and just sit and play video? There's games? gonna be fucking twelve step programs to get off gaming. Fucking Christ! You should enlist in those twelve step programs. There's a twelve step program out there for uh, getting off your cell phone. There are people who are addicted to their cell phone. They just can't put it down. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> like they get depressed when they put it down. And when it's in the other room. I put mine down, I get depressed because I just got done watching porn. It's the most depressing thing ever. Yeah, when I put my cell phone down, I'm kind of happy. Yeah. Because, like, like uh, Jesus. nobody can fucking call me. Ah, uh, fucking D&D chat. Got to put my phone down. There we go. Nice. Yeah, because you never fucking respond. I don't. Like, I messaged you twice over Facebook, and you've seen them both. Yeah. No response. It's probably because I view them while I'm at work. I'm like, I don't. I can't type this out, but I can view it but I can't type anything out. And then I go to break, and I'm like, fuck this, I'm hungry. You at work at 8 o'clock at night? When did you send that? Yesterday. Oh. I was I was at 8 o'clock. Oh, no, I was at 8 o'clock today, hmm. this morning. I was at work at 8 o'clock. No, at night, you fucking retard. No, but I'll probably be sleeping before I go to work. Yesterday, yes, I was. I worked 7 to 7 yesterday. Oh, okay. Suck it. God damn <laughs> I it. worked... I, so we had two day work days this week. I've worked in hours total three because I worked four hours yesterday and four hours today. Really? Yeah. So I've got overtime now. <laughs> I'm going to be getting paid good money for this week. Yeah, Uncle Sam will take 
quite a bit of that. Yeah, and then also the fifteen percent that I have garnished out of my checks. Ooh. 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 Remember to pay your remember to pay your fucking loans back, kids. Or just don't take loans. Either one. Yeah. Don't take go to college. Bag. Don't go to college. Yeah. Start don't up go a, to college. start up an internet podcast business with friends that you <laughs> that you yell at. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. It's not. And then entertain and then contemplate on <laughs> selling underwear online. <laughs> I remember when we talked about that. <laughs> what? Just the idea that that could have been like a plausible outcome for us was selling. Underwear. We were about ready to do we it. We almost did. It's a it's a market that people enjoy. I guess we were. We had a female lined up. <laughs> we're not gonna name names. <laughs> no. But we had a female lined up to do it. And I would have wore girly ass underwear all fucking day for that. You know damn good and well I would have. A thong? I would have. Let's do it. Let's do it. For 50 fucking dollars per thong? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'd do that. TRT gets 99% of the proceeds. That's fine. Pretty much goes back in our pocket anyhow. I'd actually go to have sex with a girl and she'd be like, oh, why are you wearing a thong? And be like, I can explain. I sell it, but a company gets the money. <laughs> I get none of it. What the fuck? I'm owned. <laughs> don't n- don't take those off with your teeth. Someone's gonna smell the woman. Speaking of fucking it. your girl, did you see that photo I sent to Soli? Uh uh-uh. uh. On D and D chat, it somebody took a picture of a frame, put yeah. a condom in the center. Oh said, yeah. In case of a miracle, break glass. Maybe that's what we should get for Soli for Christmas. We should. Your Christmas gifts delayed. That's fine. Yeah, I, I still got to get in the shop and print it. Oh, oh, yeah, that one. I was like, yeah. I'm not getting anyone anything. Fuck you all. <laughs> Ouch. Fuck you, bitch. Die in a hole. Oh, da- uh, I bought myself a mini fridge. I'm not sure if I said that for my Christmas present. You did. Okay. You know I'm what excited. I bought myself for my Christmas present? What? A dragon dildo. I'm joking. I didn't. God damn it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, go Brando. You like getting fucked by, I'm going to guess, a T Rex. <laughs> A pterodactyl. A pterodactyl. <laughs> Get a fucking right. <laughs> they have smaller penises. I can't handle a T Rex. I wonder if there's like science that goes into like the building of a T Rex. I it. think it's reason why it's called a dragon dildo is because the sheer size of it. Well, there's because okay, so dragondildo.com has more than just dragon dildos. They have T Rex dildos. They have like alien dildos. They have horse dildos. What I mean, the fuck? they they have it's bad dragon. I guess is what it's called. Are you gonna look it up right now? I am. Keep talking. Uh, but yeah, they have they have a bunch. They also have uh, some pocket pussies, too, that are like wolf mouths and stuff like that. Baddragon.com dot There you go. Shop. There you go. Handmade fantasy sex toys. Kids, this is an eighteen year eighteen uh, or older site. Don't don't go. What on. the fuck? Yeah, a Snell dildo. What, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? Welcome, welcome to the internet. A Kona, like this they're, ain't they're, could tickle uh, your prostate uh, and your net sack at the same time. They uh, are based usually off of characters, so like if you click on one, it'll should have like pictures of egg plug. I kind of want this. You'd be giving birth to an egg every day, and you could choose like different colors. Not every day, day, you fucking re re. Black and white. <laughs> What the fuck? You can get a Mario themed one. <laughs> what the? F- oh, custom! I'm gonna buy one with the TRT logos <laughs> on it. <laughs> put, put you where you guys belong. Up my ass. I'll order one and just stick it on my shelf in my office. Order order these with fucking goddamn. Just get one with each person's face on it. You know, Rooster Teeth has all them pictures on the wall. Oh, they even sell it in our green, too. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. Select your size. Small, medium. I'm definitely not a small, but I am a... I could be a medium. Select firmness. Soft, medium, or firm. Medium. $105. Holy shit. <clears throat> They're handmade. Need to have a separate base color. How do you do split firmness? Well, you can't on here. Damn it! You can do uh, you can do uh, soft shaft, medium shaft, firm base, firm base. What? Okay, I can't do a soft base. Oh, you can switch to three D and two D. Oh, you can take a tour around it. What? 
Sorry, guys. We're shopping for dildos now. Brando, Brando just discovered some new stuff here. What the fuck? Dude, that thing looks like it'd be painful. Oh, you can get army camo. No, <laughs> well, you can't see it. Dude, that looks like an old man's tip on his dick. What the, what the fuck? Oh, okay, we're <laughs> off this topic. What the hell? They can't see what we're looking at. All they can hear is, what the fuck? I know, right? What the fuck? So this one has, like, it's like a, it's a normal man's ball base, but it has, like, a fucking it's a um, flared Venus flytrap It's a flared head. horse penis. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I know my dildos. I'm not gay, but I know my dildos. Need more sizes. Actual sizing tool. Let's look up the actual sizing tool. Jesus Christ. Loading toy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, drag slider to begin. No. No, go bigger. Go bigger, go home. What the fuck? That's the in comparison to a credit card. What? How could you fit that in your ass? People do it. What the fuck? Head five inches. Um, diameter of middle ring, 1.48 inches. Diameter of shaft, 1.22 inches. That's fucking massive. Total length, eight inches. There you go. Bigger than you. You ever want to clean out your whole fucking cold? Oh, that's just a small one. Let's go extra large. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's how you fucking kill someone. Eight inches <laughs> of the shaft. <laughs> what the What's fuck? What's the length on it? The length? Total length, 17 and a half inches. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shim. Drag slider begin. What, what does this do? Oh, size it down so you can see it better. Still can't fit it all on screen. <laughs> yeah, you can. That's impressive. This is actual size right here. What the fuck? That's fucking Dude, nuts. who could fit that in their ass? Uh, <clears throat> All it takes is a good will to have. So, yeah, moving on from <laughs> butt fucking with a dildo. Oh, shit. Anyways. Well, uh, I thought your stand was falling. I forgot it was an arm. I was like, oh, shit. It, it is. It's an arm, Ben. It's It's an arm. It's an arm today. All right. So New Year's is coming up. Yeah. You excited yeah. about that? No. That's another day. Everyone's like big about the ball drop in New York. It's like, wow. Oh, wow. Let's all go stand out in fucking freezing ass temperatures just to watch a thing. Corey, go. take my hand. Take my hand. Okay. We have our hands now. Corey, if we went to New York to see the ball drop, would you be my lover to kiss? Nope. Why? I'd make you do it with some random chick. Uh, why a chick? Because, I don't know. Is that a mental illness? Yes. Yeah. He's like, sorry, he plays video games way too much. He's got a mental illness. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm going to go over. Fuck you. <laughs> I have found I have found his <clears throat> weakness. Speaking of all that fucking mental illness video games, I own someone at a net neutrality argument. Nice. So, <clears throat> we got... Oh, here. Um, Let me pull it up. Uh we got into this argument, right? Yeah. Well, he it was that guy with that combine tractor that said highway new, neutrality was blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. So I went on there, and I said, you're missing the point. And then someone got on there and was all like, so what's your point, Brandon? And I, I was like, did you read the title to law? He was all like, do you just want to recite law, or do you want to tell us your point? I said, well, first off, I don't have to explain myself every fucking step of the way yeah. when I refer back to it. Um. But yeah, he actually, I don't, yeah, he didn't delete it, but he deleted one of his comments on it. So I said, missing the point, this is one of them. Um, the guy said, how, well, you ha have you read Title II that they repealed? You want me to make the point for you? No, it is a question. I don't want to go to the reference, to references and have to explain myself every step of the way. So you don't want to have to explain your position. You just want to say it's a bad example and have that be the end. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, 
I didn't say I didn't want to explain my point. I just don't want to refer to the article and you'd be like, what's this? And yeah. I have to go into detail what it is. Yeah. Like, don't argue something <clears throat> that you haven't read on yet. But anyways, so he linked me to a net neutrality is dead. Here's what the FCC really did. Um, and it was like this right wing, like, they said Obama regime and everything. I'm like, okay, this is a bullshit thing. So I said, okay, then so you are saying it's a good thing. ISPs can throttle bandwidth to different websites depending on what they pay. Not even mentioning that ISPs can access packets without a warrant. Let me know how some of your websites are doing in about six months. And then, um, if anything, this is taking privacy away from the consumer and screwing small business. And this is when he commented, well, why is all the big companies like Google, Facebook, and Netflix for this? That's no longer on here, because as you can see. Verify that for me. That, that is correct. I was going to say they are. And so I, I linked him that article yeah. where it has all their statements in one, and he like removed that comment and like shut up. I'm like, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I've, I hate people that come to the fight. Uh, we unprepared. No, not really unprepared. They just see one side of the story. Yeah. Like, it's me. Okay, I'm not going to use that example because it's just going to get hanging. Okay, so computers, it, for instance, yeah. right? You think computer technology shouldn't exist. Yeah, no, right? it's, it's fucking dumb. And I think it should, right? Okay. I come to the argument with actual facts. Yeah. You come to the argument with bullshit. Like, one-sided facts. Like, oh, yeah, no, computers are helping people survive. Well, computers can also cause cancer. Exactly. Boom. And you just drive that cancer argument. Yeah. Like, I hate the people that sat there and drove and drove regulation. Like, regulation's bad. This is why we don't need it, because regulation's bad. Regulation's bad. It's like, would you shut the fuck up for once? Like, just please shut the fuck I literally, I, somebody in person got in an argument and used that very argument about how it's just regulations and they don't like regulations. I literally told him to shut the fuck up and never talk to me again. I was going to say, regulations aren't bad per se. It's just when they're abused. That's when they're bad. How's regulations abused? Well, I mean, if it's like over-regulated. Like, uh, I'm, trying to, I'm, over try, I'm, I'm trying to think of Give an example. Give me an example of something that's over-regulated <clears throat> by our government. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of one. I can't I can't think of one that is in play Keep right thinking, now. because you ain't going to find no, one. I, like, imagine, like, okay, so we have our cars, right? What if they were like, you can't, you know, you can't go over 10 miles an hour anywhere you go. You can't turn left in these areas. You can't turn. Like, if it was way over-regulated. And I don't think that there is. There's already <clears throat> those regulations in control. <laughs> no, that's, I, I'm just saying, like, over-regulating it to mm. where it. So, like, instead of being able to go 70 on the interstate, we'd only be able to go 10. In my, in my opinion, that's over-regulation. Because, I mean, at that point... Yeah, but if it was set that way in the first place, how would you know any different? That is a good point. I'm just... Regulation <clears throat> isn't bad. I just believe that if they... Let me give you a better example. Yeah. Here. Computers. Yeah. Here's how they could over-regulate computers. Everyone had to have the same exact motherboard, the same exact graphics card, same exact RAM. Communism. <laughs> Pretty much. That's, That's overregulation. I guess, I guess we should have just said communism. Yeah, exactly. Communism. So overregulation is a bad thing. Regulation, no. But uh, you don't see overregulation anywhere, really. I mean, besides. I that. love when people try to bring the coal regulations into the net neutrality regulations. And then I. Not only do I stomp their ass on the net neutrality regulations, I also stomp their ass on the coal regulations. I love somebody who was like, coal regulations are bad. I said, how? He said, well, it makes you lose jobs. I said, no, it doesn't. It, that coal's just a dying business. It is. We're moving on. And they're like, well, if coal factories didn't have to dispose of their waste a certain way. I was like, all right, buddy. And this is exactly what I did because this is a Walmart. I said, wait here. I went and got a, a cup mm -hmm. from the workers' lounge, poured some water. I said, here, drink this. He drank it. I said, that tastes pretty good, didn't it? He said, yeah, it tastes fairly all right. I said, all right, after we lift coal regulations, come back here in five years. I'll pour you the same tap water, and we'll see if you drink it then. Yeah. Boom. Gotcha. You know? Yeah. See, regulations aren't a bad thing. It keeps us in check, and it keeps, <clears throat> it keeps you know, things going. It's just like that. Let me see you drink some of that water in five years after the regulations have been lifted. You're not going to want to touch that water. Yeah. So how are farmers supposed to grow crops then? If you don't want to touch that water, why would you eat food that was grown with that water? 
I would eat any food. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, no. you know when when they turn to these and try to disown these environmental regulations, I just turn to the water argument. It, it fucks them every time. You know, here, come back in five years after those regulations have been lifted. Drink it. It's just like a uh, town in Arizona. You know what MDX or not MDX RDX is, right? Nope. It's a very powerful chemical explosive. Okay. That contaminated a town in Arizona's water, and the food amplifies any toxins that are in it. Yeah. Causes cancer. Oh, shit. And people are saying we shouldn't regulate stuff like that. Come on. Come on. Nope. I think we should all get cancer and die. I mean, if that's what you want. He said sarcastically. Yeah. If that's what you want, but I just hate arguments like that. They fucking annoy the shit out of me. It's like, oh, you want to argue this with me? All right, let's go. Come drink my water. <laughs> I peed in that cup. But really, though, that's what I fucking turn to. Yeah, it's a, every good, it's time. a good argument. Yeah, drink this fucking water, bitch. Yeah. So I was I was reading on forums this weekend or this week, not weekend. Sorry, yeah. it's been fucked up for me. And there was a forum about things that happened in school. You know, they're like, "What's that one thing that happened in school that like everyone talked about?" And then people are like, "Oh, you know, this teacher." made out with this student or you know the uh this child their house caught on fire and stuff like that i was like holy shit those are very very mundane things compared to what we had half the fucking time we had what people lighting bathrooms on fire we had fucking that suicides suicides we had uh the one kid in my grade who fucking broke up with someone else his <laughs> so there's a kid in my grade dating a girl she broke up with him for her stepbrother <laughs> It was a fucking wild. <laughs> what the fuck? Did did they know that they were stepbrother and stepsister? Yep. He walked in on them having sex. Yeah. What it was fucking the awesome. Fuck? Yeah. Welcome to fucking Iowa, everyone. What uh, the? Th- we have fucking KKK members apparently in the schools now. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, like, just like reading all these like small ones, it's like, we we must have just had like a shit ton thrown in at once because we had a lot of shit go on. Were you, were you still in school when they brought the gun to school? A kid brought a gun to school? Mm-mm. Yeah. Here at our school, a kid brought a gun. Huh. I remember we had, I think, three gun threats while we were there. I think I had one bomb threat. Yeah, there was there was a bomb threat when I was in middle school, not high school. Ah, uh, I see. Damn it, right? Yeah, I love these kids that are like, oh, teacher had sex with a student or this. We're like, we had fucking bomb threats, okay, bitch? There, there was one on there where it was like some, okay, so like some teacher got a student pregnant. She had the baby. They got married, divorced, and then she became the history teacher in the same school after he had to quit. And this all happened in the span of like four years. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. Ay, 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 ay. Think about Fuck. you getting married to a potential teacher and your wife's a teacher at the school you're at. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> How would you do that? And they were, they were also I mean, like, I would probably walk in and bend her over her desk and fuck her right there. Brandon, boom, are, boom. You, are you fuck straight? You. No, <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> fuck you, Brandon, you're gay. Yeah, I know. Fuck you. <laughs> I married the you. bitch. Uh, Double barrels, bitch. There, there was somewhere it was like, you know... Oh, this teacher was sleeping this this teacher. And I was like, we had that happen like six times while I was in fucking high school. <laughs> I remember. Uh, did you have ever have Mrs. Peterson? No. Or Miss Peterson? No. The rumor is, and I confirmed this a couple years ago, that she slept with the entire football team, and it is true. Damn. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, nah, that can never happen. That's false. Yeah. Nope. That is the truth. I asked a couple of my. F- Football players that were football players while I was in high school. And they're like, yeah. Yeah, they fucked her. <clears throat> Fuck yeah. She call us a- the Home Depot. Or call us the Depot because we ran a train. What? There's a, the Depot's right next to the train station here in this town. But the Depot only Ch- holds... Ch- 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 oh my God. It's got a train inside of it. There we go. Boom. <sighs> you should have said train house. Yeah. Called me BNSF. <laughs> Because we're running trains. <laughs> you you should have used a sawmill reference. Oh. Call it a sawmill because we're run, running logs in there. We're running logs. It sounds like you're taking a <laughs> shit. <laughs> Call me a sawmill because I'm running logs. Wait, what? You having sex? No, I'm taking massive fucking dumps. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh shit, dude. But yeah, uh, like we said earlier, the ball drops in New York. You you gonna be my kisser? Nope. We, it's not confirmed yet. No, 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 nope. Uh, uh-uh. uh, zero zip. Not a not gonna happen. Why? Cause I'll get you a male hooker or something. Really? No, they're too expensive. I'll just like grab a guy and be like, <clears throat> "You you gay? Yep. All right, here you go." So I was watching uh, the AGP funeral and everything. Yeah. Keemstar has came to a new level with me. Really? I don't mind him anymore. Did he? So he went to AGP's yeah. funeral? He was actually a pretty cool guy. Probably in a scenario like that. I wonder how much of his on screen, like on his YouTube, is actually him. Probably like 5%. I was going to say, a lot of YouTubers aren't their actual selves when they're on their videos, which, you know, I don't mind. Unless you're us. Yeah, unless you're us. We <laughs> this is oh, how we actually act. I got two stories here. What? Remember Hardy's? Yes. We haven't told that no, yet. No, we have not podcast. told that. So, me, Corey, and Corey, after last, last week's podcast, past yep. podcast, we went to Hardee's to grab a bite to eat all together. And Corey pulls out his wallet. And without this me thinking what? that the microphone to the drive up window is on, I go, give me all your fucking money really loud. And I put up a fake gun. And Corey goes, eat my ass. What did the guy say? He was like, uh, no thanks. No, he said I'd rather not. Oh, yeah, I'd rather not. Yeah. So, that was the... I can do it myself. (laughs) I don't need you. I can do it myself. Oh, my God. That was funny as hell. Yeah. And Chapman goes, you guys are no different on the podcast than in real life. (laughs) He's like, like, it's really good that you guys don't hold back on the podcast. That's that's nice. Or hold back in real life compared to the podcast. Yeah. So, we got that going for us. Uh, Another thing. You know those... uh, Bubble or uh, envelopes with bubble wrap inside that they use to ship your ship. Yeah. So I ordered my Elgato Stream Deck, right? Yeah. And I open it up, I get it out. I take my envelope and I set it on my Xbox over the top fence. And I set my Elgato up, and a couple days pass by, I forget about it being them. Turn my Xbox on, forget it's there. All of a sudden, I hear a, uh, like the fans start kicking in and working really hard. Look over. I'm like, oh, shit. Yank that off. It was cold outside, so I crank, oh, crank my window open, open my other window, and just bring cold air in. Fuck. It's, it works fine. That's good. Yeah. I like your little Yeah, you like my there. little new setup? That is pretty with cool. With my TV wall mount that I got for Christmas? That is pretty cool. If my he laptop can, would ever work. He can now watch uh, porn from his bed, so... I could watch porn from my bed before. I know, but you're just you're living the life. Man. I know you're living the life, man. Are you? Am I? I don't know. What's the life? Yeah. Well, Corey, that's the podcast. That's the podcast. Yeah. That's number thirty six. Cool. I get to. As always, go down in the description. Follow all of us on social media. Me and Corey on social media. TRT on social media. All that good shit. Band against Bam Bam. Join our Discord. We're on there all the time. I am, anyways. I yeah. Don't know. I don't know. I'm Are you on there all the time? I'm occasionally on there. All right. And as I, always. I check it daily, so. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.